So, uh, good afternoon, friends, and nice to be with all of you. Some of you might have heard me before, but uh, let me assure you that today uh, we will be talking the new developments which has which have taken place during last three four years, and we are very interesting way uh, you will find and uh, more, especially the post COVID period is going to be very challenging. Not only that, the demand will be less, but the cost issues will be there, and how in those times we can go for a very cost-effective and uh, quality-perfect, both things together in our packaging. So, and of course, the challenge uh, before COVID, which uh, all exporters were facing to replace thermocold, because there was a lot of pressure from all over the overseas clients that uh, stop using uh, thermocol and replace it with some other eco-friendly product. So these two areas I will be addressing with you. Now, whenever we talk about cost reduction, first thing is you should have some brief idea of what the quality of a corrugated box is. So I will just briefly share with you because cost reduction doesn't mean anything if the quality is compromised. And uh, to understand, because with my experience of last 40 years, I have found most of the box users don't know beyond GSM, which is grams per square meter or say thickness, thickness not exactly, but grams per square meter, that is sort of a gauge of paper and the bursting strength or bust factor of paper people talk about. But there is much, much more to it. Uh, in a very few words, I will be explaining to you about it. So the, there is importance of this bursting strength, no doubt, but then compression strength or edge crush test. I'll try to uh, tell you the difference also between the two and why ECT is more important for an exporter and uh, why compression strength is talked about by M uh, FMCGs. And then uh, another very important uh, parameter I've been is insisting and in recent times it has emerged as is COP, which is moisture absorption of uh, box. Now, I would suggest, I, I, I have met a few ex exporters who always said, see, sir, we are getting box as a price which we are comfortable and my supplier is comfortable and uh, my products reach safely so i have never bothered to go into what my supplier is giving i have not specified anything maximum we just weigh the box or feel by hand now let me tell you and in that case this was one incident i narrated many years back in noida, greater noida meeting Incidentally, the prices of paper shot up. And then the supplier of that particular gentleman wanted to in increase the price. They, of course, called me. The gentleman was from Radhabad itself. And then I tried to ask him what his specifications have been laid. He said, no specifications. And then I saw the box, tested the box, and uh, told him without his asking that a reasonable price in today's high price of craft paper of this box should be this much. He said, I'm already paying higher than this. And he's still asking. So I just the purpose of narrating this incident is that unless you, whatever may be, your client may not be having any problem, but you should always know what you have specified and what you are getting. It may be fine, but because in long run, you will be loser if you don't know what you have specified and what you are, because suppose the prices go up, you want, you will say, no, I don't want the prices to go up. He will, without telling you, reduce the quality because you don't know what you have specified. So this is very important. And these are the three, there are of course, seven, eight other parameters in a corrugated board, flat crust test, then uh, uh, bending stiffness, puncture resistance. But I think if we talk of busting strength, edge crush test of, of the box, the three together should take care of all your quality needs. 
why ECT and COB are important. Now, this is also, you may be surprised, you see, everybody talks of bursting strength, you are not talking of bursting strength. Bursting strength is okay, because primarily bursting strength is a parameter of graph paper, primarily. And uh, the combined uh, bursting uh, strength of all papers with some, a certain formula is the net bursting strength of a corrugated box. So bursting strength relates to the quality strength of paper. But ECT and COB, COB is also for paper and for box also. E why ECT is important? ECT is as crush test. Now compression strength of a box is, you take a box and in a compression strength tester, the load is applied on the box and the value at which the box crushes that is known as the compression strength of the box. Let's say it is 400 kgs. Because that will imply that this box alone can take uh, with the stand a stacking load of 400 kgs. Maybe your requirement is 150, but there is a separate formula to determine what is your uh, taking into safety factors. Well, that is another story which I will not be taking today. That's not very relevant to you, but to your. It's relevant to you why ECT is specified by most of the exporters or your clients overseas. Now, ECT is measured from a piece of board. And this also uh, is applied by a compressive load and the value is uh, taken out. Now, the advantage for ECT is that because in export, every day you, you may come out with a new box. In FMCD, there are millions and millions of boxes of the same size. There are say 10 or 12 type of boxes, and most of the boxes are used in huge quantity. So compression strength and requirement is determined and the company works on it. But for an exporter, every day there is a new size. So if we go by Rail Rule 41, uh, Rail Rule 21 and uh, I, I, this, these are the uh, American and Canadian standards. And, uh, and by thumb rule, once we know the weight of the box and the dimensions of the box, we know what ECT is required by us. It is uh, in the FPS system, it is known as pounds per inch, or you can give it in kilonewtons. Bursting strength in kg per centimeter square or pounds per square inch. So why busting alone is not sufficient? Because suppose you take five sheets of paper and paste them, you will get fantastic busting strength. But that five pieces of paper joined together will not constitute a box. You can't put anything in it. So busting is, if you don't specify ECD, and ECD mostly comes through the fluting papers or ring crust test value of uh, paper. Anyway, that will be going too much in detail. So it is not, but you should understand that same ECT of board, if we make boxes of different sizes, they will be having different compression strength, even though ECT is same. So in the table, it is a very easy for an exporter to determine what type of quality you want or you need for your product. Now, why COB is necessary? I don't know if any of you ever faced a problem of white spots or fungus in your boxes, either at your end, over prolonged storage during monsoon, or at your buyer's end. Few years back, this problem was very acute. Even in Muradabad, many exporters faced this problem of white spots. And the problem, Probably your buyer might have said, okay, I don't know what type of boxes you are using when I found in, in my, uh, when I see them in my distribution center or, or when they reach, they are in soggy form. They don't have strength. And uh, even though when you dispatch the cargo, they were in best form. So here is where COP plays the role. The moisture absorption in a box. If it is high, when it passes through uh, sea air, or it is shipped in monsoons, the box will 
attract moisture and will become soggy and will le uh, lose its most of the strength, more so the ECT or compression strength. Now I will be dwelling on, uh, once you have understood the quality parameters required for a corrugated box, some cost reduction concepts and ideas I will be talking to you. This first slide relates to cost reduction for a box which you are already using. Suppose you are already using substantial quantity of that box dispatching 10,000, 20,000 every month or 30, 40,000 in a year. And all of a sudden you realize here, yeah, I want to see if I can further reduce this price of this box. So these are the steps you should work out, find out really what, what specification in bursting or puncture or ECT terms you really require for your product. This can be determined by an expert or you can also, after some training, by knowing the size of the box, by knowing the gross weight of the box, you can find out what should be the bursting strength requirement or compression. Now, one should remember that by buying higher specification paper of lower GSM is always cheaper than buying higher GSM of lower specification. See, because, and let me ex explain it further. Suppose there is a 22 BF paper. It costs around 30 rupees per kg. Now, if we buy 28, 35 BF of paper, it will increase marginally because the paper making cost is same. So if it is four rupees per kg is paper making cost, it will remain same. If I increase my input, the quality of pulp, it will give better strength. So I can buy good quality of paper of a lower GSM. So one should consider this. Then one should also consider reducing the number of plies from seven to five or five to three by using A and C flute, which will give higher ECT or compression with same GSM. And find out, then find out the most suitable paper specs to meet requirements stated above. And lastly, the most important thing, to source the paper with best. Of course, you as an exporter will have to leave all these things on your box supplier. But once you are aware about these things, you can definitely look into it, how you can reduce the price or simply put, take professional help of a lab or consultant to get correct and accurate answers to above questions. So this uh, is for where you already have a box and you want to reduce the cost because you are already using it and now you can't afford to pay such, uh, such a prevailing price of the box. Now we will talk about generally talking because in my various talks I have come across uh, exporters asking me to suggest us some quality <clears throat> which is good for us. We don't want to go in so much of detail. So now I will be discussing you with four ready-made ready -made solutions. This is, of course, is not exhaustive list. This is based on my experience with n number of exporters, what they use. These are the four qualities I am talking about and they will cover up almost 99% of your requirements. Now I'm starting with the least expensive, you may call it regular quality, because anything less than this quality, I would never recommend for export. Now, it's, again, the parameters given in this is, this is suitable for one to 10 kgs of weight, and L plus P plus H, that is length plus breadth plus height of the box should not exceed 40 inches. If don't both these parameters meet, you can go for a bursting strength of 9 to 11 kgs because in India, mostly we talk of a kg per centimeter square. So, and ECD 26 to 29 LPS per inch. This is the uh, cheapest and uh, the most economical combination which an exporter can use or should use. The second quality is for products ranging from 11 to 15 kgs. Here we can have a range of L plus B plus H equal to 50 inches. 
and here the bursting strength requirement uh, uh, i have only written pounds per square inch but we can convert into kgs per square centimeter also ect is 29 to 32 pounds per inch most of the uh, products may be covered with this quality i am sure and then for higher range where weight is exceeding 16 to 19 kgs there we can have a leverage of having a larger box also and the bursting strength is 200 lbs and ect 32 to 35 pounds per inch uh, most of your overseas buyers may be asking you to give only 200 lbs they must have specified in their order that boxes of 200 lbs should be used and the reason for that is <clears throat> even if you are using a lightweight box they will always ask for 200 lbs because for an outer box imported inside us it is their mandatory requirement and sometimes they also ask you to put seal of the box certificate this is necessary because if there is any damage the ups or the parcel service or the carrier will be liable to pay for the damages if the box uh, complies to their laid norms and these four categories have been derived from those norms now the last which for very heavy boxes and very big boxes this is two i think this is this is something wrong uh, there is a typing error it will be 275 lbs please correct it uh, the ecd is 42 to 45 or even with 200 lbs this uh, okay this is okay 200 lbs is okay ecd is high in this case 42 to 45 and again i would like to reiterate no amount of going by weight of box or feel of hand can solve your problem of quality and best rates you have to be very specific what you need and then you should specify what you want to your supplier now friends before i go for uh, this eco friendly packaging detail uh, talk to you in detail uh, latest research which we, uh, our lab has done on moisture absorption it is very it's a eye opening thing for at least papers available in india and uh, we have found because no, normally paper, everybody tests just cob for paper cob is tested for one minute one for one minute it is dipped in water and uh, for corrugated box it is dipped for half an hour with a, that 20 cm 2 cm of water height and the moisture gain is determined but what we have found in our research i am just talking of the gist here uh, otherwise it's a pretty slight proposition and that is that even if the cob is okay there were two types of board or two types of paper for them the cob one minute cob or 30 minute cob was same but when those boxes were exposed for high humidity over a long period the moisture absorption was different now because as i mean as a layman your box supplier can only maximum test cob of paper or cob of board but what happens to that box if it is exposed to 95% humidity for two days the results were amazing and we found that because the worst impact is on the compression strength of the box the load bearing capacity and uh, from that day onwards we have been telling that please test the paper for uh, 90% 5% humidity over 24 hours and then see what is the moisture gain in paper this is just for academic interest and uh, for creating awareness uh, to you otherwise this is more relevant for manufacturers of boxes but as a user you should also be aware of it and now friends we talk of eco friendly cushioning which is the very hot topic these days thermocol out bubble sheet out ep foam out pu foam out uh, nobody wants them or thermocol is extensively used in especially handicraft side now glass items side now and uh, one should be uh, prepared even at a slightly higher price of course uh, 
cost part is very essential, but one should be prepared that because if your customer insists on it, there is no way you have to uh, abide by his directives. So now what uh, some recent development have taken place in these areas, I will share with you. Uh, honeycomb packing, I would like to discuss with you. This is very interesting, a product of Muradabad. Uh, marble stones or other things, they were being sent in thermocol and then in a corrugated box and then a, a you know, a skeleton of lakdi ke fatto ka bana ke creating type things were being done. Now, <clears throat> this is made of thermo, this is made of a honeycomb board. Honeycomb board in various three, four qualities is available. And uh, depending whether we want strength or we want cushioning, a combination is made by uh, creating this uh, box and then the product is packed. And this is the final shape. So here we are doing away with thermocol box. We are doing away with corrugated box. We are doing away with wooden creating. Totally eco-friendly thing is there. And of course it is quite costly, but it matches the cost the combined cost of thermocol box, corrugated box, and wooden creating. So this is one of the latest developments which has been carried out, and it is being used at uh, quite a few places also. Now these are uh, you may uh, you, you people have seen corrugated board a lot at your ends. On the on this side, on your left hand, or whatever, this is jumbo flute. Both are of five ply. The thin one is the regular one, which is being used for corrugated boxes. Its thickness is about five to seven mm, and uh, this is five ply, which is having fifteen mm thickness. Now, since there is a lot of air in this, it can replace thermocol and uh, paddings and cushion pads. Uh, of this, have already been tested and uh, drop tests have been passed. <coughs> Uh, very soon we will be showing you a video where this uh, pads made of this were used. Ah. Ah, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Yes, okay. please. Start it. Okay, friends, am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear yes, you. Yes, 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 we can. Okay, yeah. Okay, fine. So now, uh, this is uh, uh, people asked me about. Uh, many of you might not be knowing what exactly. Uh, PPT is visible, no? PPT. Are you yes, able to visible. see the? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And audible yes. also. Uh, okay. in the meantime, uh, Gupta ji, yeah. uh, because there are yes. a lot of question on ECT. That is the part of your presentation. Please yeah. explain the ECT also in between, right? Thank you. Okay. Um, should I continue with this and then take that ECT again and explain to you? Yeah, you first finish this and then later on. Okay. Okay. So, friends, uh, this is honeycomb board. This is the cross section that uh, below and above. There is a similar type of 
uh, cushion pad which we had made for uh, these glass tumblers uh, made of glass uh, and uh, it can be made from uh, honeycomb board also honeycomb board is available in different qualities also it can be made to impart cushioning it can be impart to load bear it load bearing is tremendous for honeycomb you can see from the structure below where which we have tried to show you why it is called honeycomb board because there is a vertical slant for corrugated board you can have a good box because the flutes are always vertical because those vertical flutes will have load bearing capacity but when we use it you know in a horizontal way there is always chances of the flutes bending but when we have this sort of structure a honeycomb board structure it has a lot of uh, and the thickness is normally starting with 10 mm to 50 mm up to we go and uh, it is imperative to get cushioning like in thermocool we get thickness of 15 mm 20 mm 25 30 mm we can get same thing in uh, honeycomb board also we can get more or less same thing in jumbo flute also but jumbo flute we cannot use for heavy products and uh, the cost uh, factor for this thing uh, honeycomb board is you know uh, is definitely much higher uh, but with different combinations of and permutations of paper used in this thickness used in this cell size used in this uh, cost uh, these uh, honeycomb uh, boards can be uh, made so this i just wanted to talk about the other uh, alternate available with us for eco friendly cushioning and uh, when we talk of eco friendly products even the wooden pallet is considered not eco friendly because wood consumed uh, wood consumed in pallets is much more but when we made them from either corrugated board or honeycomb paper used and the wood used for making that paper is much less so mostly people prefer to have pallets made of corrugated board if it is lightweight ikea most of you must have heard is using corrugated board pallets for years and years maybe last 15 years 20 years they are already using but now honeycomb board pallets are also being used but of course here we have this is exceeding 250 kg you can go up to 400 500 kg or even more or the uh, corrugated board pallets are not very suitable for beyond 200 or 250 kg so friends uh, this was all i had to uh, discuss with you thank you very much and before i take up other questions first i will talk about uh the ect part um, so see ect uh I, in fact i could have uh, taken that video for testing ect also but i thought i have shown it so many times so i avoided that uh, video but uh, it is taken from a small piece of board number 1 a small piece of board is taken out of a board and it is put in a crush tester load is applied on that and till that board crushes that weight is need uh, you know observed and that is known as edge crush test of board it denotes the load bearing capacity of the board and the box made of that uh, uh, that board now it is important again i am emphasizing that just busting a strength alone will not serve your purpose if you will only specify busting a strength i have found many exporters even in moradabad since the buyer has said okay give us 200 lbs they will say 200 lbs but they never bother to find out what flutes have been used what because what rct of paper has been used if the busting strength to achieve busting strength is very easy but to know whether that board is strong enough to withstand the weight contains the stacking strength one has to specify ect and ect is easy to measure the 
machine is also not very costly for compression strength it is more than 2.5 lakhs and uh, for uh, ecd one can have for 1.25 lakhs or one can take services of a testing lab iip can test for you we can test for you once in a while you can get things tested when you start using a particular box of a particular ecd you can get it tested and then random testing can be done